know, Rob, I... I never expected to see you at our cavalry reunion. It was the nicest surprise I could have had. Well, I've tried to make it every year for the past five, but that ranch of mine really keeps me hopping. Well, not any more than my business does me. I, uh, can't thank you enough for inviting my boy up there for the summer. I hope he gets along with your kid. Why, you will. You know, Freddy's not like other boys. You see, he's never known his mother. Well, oh, that's rough on the land. Well, I've, I've given him everything a boy could possibly want. Now, don't worry about him, Jim. He'll be all right on the goose bar. This is uh, Freddy's pocket money for the summer. Of course, if he should need some more. <laughs> I don't think he'll. Oh. Well, I must run along. I'm late now. I have a very important conference. Uh, say goodbye to Freddy for me and uh, make him right. My secretary will make sure that I reply. Goodbye, Rob, and uh, thanks again. You know very well I hate oatmeal for breakfast. I just wanted you to have something nourishing before you went on your journey, Master Freddy. You're just as fussy as that old nurse I used to have. I'm ready to leave whenever you are. Where's my father? He, uh, he was mighty sorry he couldn't wait to say goodbye. It seems he had... Don't trouble to explain. My father is always busy with his own affairs. I understand perfectly. Yeah. Well, anyway, he asked me to give you this money. Thank you. Here, you may have this to pay for my train fare. No, Freddie, you put that away. From the time you go out your front door, you're my guest. As you wish. <laughs> Yeah, only now it's bigger. We got two folds while he was gone. <laughs> Welcome to the goose bar, Freddy. Is this all it is? Wait till you see everything. It takes a day's riding to cover it. What are you doing with my bags? I was only going to help you get them up to your room. Your man can do that. You. Who do you mean, young fella? You, of course. Take my bags into the house. Uh, got these horses to unhitch and feed. Are they more important than my orders? We don't give orders around here, Freddy. Everyone pitches in and does his share. How do you expect your servants to obey if you don't give them orders? Well, that's very simple. There are no servants. Gus happens to be a friend of mine. thinking it was a mistake to invite Freddie here, aren't you? He's got an idea that everybody should count out of Freddie Williams. If he were my son, I'd... Well, he isn't. That's why you have to make allowances for him. He may not act like him, but he's just as much a boy. That boy has got no feelings. He just shrugged it off when his father couldn't wait to say goodbye. Poor Freddie. What does that mean? This is the first time I've had a friend's day all summer. I've got a lot of things planned. Like what? Oh, I couldn't begin to tell you. But first thing tomorrow you'll start to find out. I've got a big surprise for you. That's what my nurse always used to say. But somehow it was never what I wanted. What did you want? Nothing I could ever get. So we might as well not talk about it. Hi, Mom. Now, don't you keep Freddy awake half the night by talking. Things Ken's been telling me are sure to put me asleep, Mrs. McLaughlin. Good night, son. Good night, Mom. <laughs> Good night, Mrs. McLaughlin. I hope you'll be happy here, Freddy. The Goose Bar is your home as much as it is ours. Hi, Freddy. 
here and made this for you. Is this the big surprise? Uh-uh. I'm always making Indian belts. It has no buckle. Indian belts never do. It ties around. Look, I'll show you. Never mind. I prefer to use my own equipment when I'm riding. I've saddled Flick and Traveler for us. Flicker? That's her. Hmm. Not bad lines. I ride her. I'm sorry, Freddy, but she's mine. Traveler's the big surprise I was telling you about. I've been training her for you. She can do everything Flicker can do. Almost. But I prefer Flicker. I don't blame you. But you can't ride her. Nobody can but me. She won't let him. If you were my guest, I'd let you ride any horse in my father's stable. But you don't understand. Look, Freddy, I... Never mind. You don't have to explain. Traveler's not much of a horse. I could have beaten you if I'd been riding Flicker. It was only a friendly race, Freddy. Really doesn't matter who won. You wouldn't say that if you had lost. Let's have some lunch. There's some shade near the cave. It looks interesting. Have you ever been in it? No. Why not? It would be exciting to explore. Let's say we go in there right now. We better not. What's the matter? Are you scared? My dad told me someone tried mining in there once. But now all the timbers must be rotten. Freddy! Looks safe enough to me. Come on, scary cat. saying don't. Well, there's only trying to... What was that? A little dust falls off. It sometimes happens when you shout. It does. Ah! Well, wasn't as exciting as I thought it would be. Might as well go back to the ranch.
Ken? Yeah, Freddy? Do you like these boots? They're the best I've ever seen. Maybe if I sort of forgot to pack them when I go back to St. Louis. You could keep them. Gee, I... Could I really? Sure you could. Just let me ride Flicker and they're all yours. We'll go into town and get the mail, Flicka. Just as soon as I put Traveler in a stall. Freddie looked at us? I think he was as much frightened as anything else. Yeah, like a wildcat robbed of his prey. I'm glad you threw him. He deserved it. Just the same, I want you to be nice to him. He's a lonely little boy who's never really had a friend or anyone to love him. Not even his father? Oh, of course his father loves him, in his own way. He's given him lots of things, but very little of himself. That's what Freddie needs from you, a little bit of yourself. All right, Mom. I'll try. I knew you'd understand. But I don't think Flick will understand. Freddie better stay away from her. Get rid of that thing. 
How could he do a mean thing like this? Anyone that mistreat a horse this way ought to be given a taste of their own medicine. What are you going to do? Let's find him.
I can't. I can't. I'll be crushed to death in there. What the? Wake up, Freddy's in there. We've got to get him out. I'm going back in to get him. You feel me tug on the rope. You pull, you hear? Now let's try it once. Atta girl. Now you do that when you feel me pull from in there. Remember what I told you. Pull you out of here when I give her the signal. Put that rock in there. It's all loose. I'll be buried alive. I crawled through there twice. You risked your life for me. Come on, let's get started before Flick loses patience. with him now, Flicka. Take the carrot. She took it. Now you can pat her. She's even forgotten that I was a... a, a maverick? <laughs> oh, forget it. That was six weeks ago. Now we're all friends. I sure was a maverick. Ken, it's been a wonderful summer. I wish I could stay here all the time. I guess I have to be going back to that old boarding school when I leave here next week. Not if you don't want to, Freddy. Father, you didn't come to take me back already, did you? No. I came to spend some time with you. You did? But what about your business? My most important business is you. Us. Dad? This is my friend, Ken. Yes, I know. Your mother wrote me a lot about you two boys. Glad to know you, sir. We were going riding, but I guess we'd better forget it for now. Do we have to, Dad? <laughs> of course not. We can talk later. <laughs> 